Futurecast are um, providing innovation to the quarry and construction industries. So we're trying to develop modern methods of construction uh, and rolling those out to our member companies. Trying to uh, use that existing technology, take them from other fields and applying them to new areas within the quarry and construction industry. We're really proud to be partnering with Futurecast that have really built up this training facility here in Manor Hamilton. We can offer to Futurecast, as you can see, the training cells that we've installed so we can train the next generation of engineers. We're looking at modern methods of construction, primarily uh, 3D concrete printing here at Futurecast. So we're trying to introduce new methods of building within Ireland to try and upskill the, the industry and introduce new kind of industry forward type technologies. A lot of companies are aware of 3D printing, uh, not so much aware of 3D concrete printing. We actually have a printer, people can actually see it, they can touch the product that is made. That's bringing them on a lot, so we're all about showcasing the technology, not just as something across the world that's been done. Um, they can see it here in Ireland and they can see its capabilities. We are through our educational courses trying to get the message out there that it is a faster way of building versus traditional block building. We recently printed the first one-storey block within Ireland in a couple of hours in a single day. So that was a bit of a game changer for us. The digital tools such as KUKA SIM, BIM and Revit can show people before it's constructed exactly what it will look like for them to be able to step into that digital model. We fully design the building, um, allow somebody to walk around it in, a, in effect to improve things, change features that they don't like. Um, even the aspects of the light shining through the windows in different times of the day. Using these more modern methods and starting from Revit and BIM technologies is uh, attracting the, the younger, more technical people into an industry previously they wouldn't have looked at as a, as a career. The students we'll be teaching here will be mostly people from the quarrying and construction industry that maybe are looking to automate processes in their field. There's definitely a need for this kind of automation in construction, in specifically in dangerous environments or very precise environments where quality control is an issue. Before you go spending hundreds of grand on the wrong sized robot, you can take a robot and place it in a factory at a one-to-one -one scale drag it around to wherever you think might be the best place to leave it and move conveyor belts and other robots to fit the factory before you ever put anything physical in situ. Cement is one of the, the major contributors to CO2 emissions in the world and concrete is the second most used substance after water. Um, and so if we can reduce the cement in the concrete that we're using the CO2 situation um, is improved. The 3D printer reduces the, the amount of actual concrete that's used because there's very little waste. Recycled glass spheres that have lots of um, air bubbles in them will act as an added insulator for the concrete, meaning that less CO2 has to be used to heat the house. Across the globe, housing is a problem. With the aspects that we're seeing at Futurecast, they're concentrated on the 3D printing of the concrete printing. We can see there's been a huge development across the globe. Industrial Intelligence.